I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about how we give ourselves permission to be kind to ourselves and make time for the activities that help to promote our self-care. So I just finished teaching a session with carers about looking after their own well-being and this was a really good question that was put at the end saying I've got all these different hobbies that I would love to spend more time doing and I kind of get that they would be good for me but I find it really hard to give myself permission to invest that time in myself. And I don't have a perfect answer to this, but when we very much identify ourselves as someone who cares for others, whether that's as a teacher, a parent, a carer, and our time is often spent thinking about the needs of others before ourselves, then I have found that one thing that can help with giving ourselves permission to invest time in ourselves and our own self-care is by cheating a little bit and reframing that time invested in ourselves as being of benefit to those that we care about. So the example that I gave, and I'll give again now, is that having just spent the last couple of hours teaching, my brain will be quite busy and I need to practice a bit of self-care, create a bit of space for myself. And I know I will be a better mum to my girls if instead of going straight up and being mum for them in the house, I give myself half an hour and I go and play the piano or do some knitting or walk the dog or whatever else it is I need to do in order to create a little bit of space, a little bit of separation, a little bit of time to rest and reset before I engage with family life. If I barrel straight into family life in this moment, I'll probably be shouty mum, I'll probably be irritable mum, I probably won't be very patient or very good at listening or any of those things that I pride myself on doing well in my good moments. So I have to give myself permission to care for myself first so that I can be the adult that my children, my husband, my mother-in-law needs in their life right now. So that's my hack, is if you find it hard to give yourself permission to exercise self-care, reframe it as how it's an investment in the people who you are better at dedicating your time, your effort and your energy to. And hopefully it will help you to give yourself a bit of a break.